Hi everyone! This time we will learn about how to modify and fix PVC conduits. Competitors will modify PVC conduits and fix on walls. Let us have a look at the key points of this task. First, look at the drawings and calculate the measurement for PVC conduit cutting and bending. Bending PVC to 90 degrees. 1. This is a method of calculating the measurement for PVC bending. 2. Bend the PVC and fix a PVC connector at the end. 3. Subtract 20 millimeters from the part where PVC is not inserted into the PVC connector. 4. Subtract 120 millimeters from the part where PVC is bent into 90 degrees. 5. 420 width, 280 height. Second, use a pipe cutter, cut the PVC conduit. Mark the measurement for PVC cutting, then with a pipe cutter, cut the PVC. Lastly, ream with a countersink. Third, when heating and bending PVC conduits, make sure the PVC conduits do not get dented. Keep a 10 mm distance between the PVC conduit and the heat gun and heat up thoroughly while moving the heat gun side to side. Slowly push the PVC conduit in the square ruler, making sure the bent part does not get dented. While wearing cotton gloves, rub with hand back and forth three times. Wet the cloth with water and rub the PVC conduit to cool it down. Fourth, cool down the PVC conduit after bending so that the bent part completely hardens. Wet the cloth with water and rub the PVC conduit with it. When rubbing, make sure not to put in too much force so that the PVC shape can be maintained. Dip the PVC conduit in the water so that it can cool down completely. Please double check preparations in detail and personal protective equipment to be ready for the task. Let us have a look at the precautions to perform the task in this training. First, when marking measurements, use a white-colored pencil since the PVC is black-colored. Using a white-colored pencil makes it easier to see the markings when bending the PVC conduit. When heating up the PVC conduit, draw a line all around the PVC conduit so that the bending location is easy to see. Second, when using a heat gun, be careful of safety-related accidents. Since the PVC conduit is long in length, secure enough workspace beforehand and think about how you would move during the operation. Do not touch the heated PVC conduit with bare hands since you can get burns from touching it. Third, when heating the PVC conduit with a heat gun, maintain consistent heat temperature and heating range. Use the heat gun to the maximum temperature. Maintain consistent heating range and moving speed and heat according to a set of number times. Fourth, cool down the PVC conduit completely so that deformation does not occur. If the PVC conduit is cooled down completely, it will maintain the bent angle. If it is not cooled down completely, the bent angle widens, creating deformations on the conduit. Fifth, before attaching the PVC conduit, wipe the conduit clean. Before attaching the PVC conduit, remove markings and moisture on the conduit, then attach on the wall. Have a look at what we are going to do in this training. Let us install PVC conduits. Check the drawing and install different kinds of PVC connectors.
Install metal conduit couplings. Fix cable glands. Insert CD conduit connectors. Insert cable glands. Calculate PVC conduit measurement. Identify the shape and quantity of PVC conduits on the drawings. Measure the length and width of PVC conduits on the wall using a tape measure and note down on the drawings. How to calculate the measurement of L-shape bending. This is a method of calculating the measurement for PVC bending. Subtract 20 millimeters from the part where PVC is not inserted into the PVC connector. Subtract 120 millimeters from the part where PVC is bent into 90 degrees. Let us cut PVC conduits. Using a white colored pencil, mark the measurement of bending and cutting on the PVC conduit. Refer to the drawings and mark the location to bend and cut on the PVC conduit using a tape measure and colored pencil. When marking the bending location, mark all around the PVC conduit. Using a pipe cutter, cut the PVC conduit. When using a pipe cutter, be careful not to get your fingers cut. Ream the cut surface with a countersink. Using a 90 degree countersink, ream the cut surface to make it smooth. Let us heat PVC conduits. Preheat the heat gun to maximum temperature. While rotating the PVC conduit, heat thoroughly with a heat gun. PVC heating range. Heat 10 millimeters further from the marking point on the PVC conduit. When heating, make sure the PVC conduit is heated thoroughly, watching the moving speed and distance of the heat gun. Competitors should rotate the PVC conduit with the left hand when heating. Check if the PVC conduit is heated sufficiently by rotating the conduit. If the PVC conduit is heated up sufficiently, the conduit starts to bend. Go back and forth five times with the heat gun to heat it more and finish heating. The PVC conduit gets dented when heated up insufficiently as well as when it is heated up too much. Let us bend PVC conduits. Hold the heated PVC conduit with both hands and push into the square ruler. PVC can be dented, so be careful during the process. Fit the PVC into the square ruler completely. With the right foot, hold the PVC conduit in place, and with the left hand, hold the rest. Wear a cotton glove on the right hand and rub the PVC conduit side to side, back and forth, for three to five times.
If you press on too hard, the PVC conduit might get dented. Let us clean up the workspace. Tidy up the tools used for PVC conduit modification. It is to secure workspace and prevent safety-related accidents. Let us fix the PVC conduits on the wall. Wipe the PVC conduit clean with a dry cloth. In order to remove markings drawn to modify PVC conduit as well as water stains, it should be wiped with a clean cloth. Install PVC connector. Push the PVC conduit into the connector so that it is inserted properly. Insert approximately 25 millimeters. Fix the PVC with a clamp saddle. Fix the PVC conduit on top of the clamp saddle. Press the fixed PVC conduit so that it is firmly fixed onto the clamp saddle. Check again the key points of the task we've worked on in this training. So far, we have learned about how to modify PVC conduits and fix on walls. Thank you for your hard work.